and trying to get into downtown Gatlinburg, which is only about 11 miles away. But according to Google Maps, to the GPS, that's going to take me about an hour to do 11 minutes to to do 11 miles. The reason for that is it is currently uh, December the 29th. A lot of people here from out of town, and they all want to go to downtown Gatlinburg. So I'm going to turn the camera around, and let you guys see what I'm talking about. Wonderworks, Titanic. Uh, beyond the lens. They're right in the thick of it right now. And I am not able to go more than about 10 miles an hour at the most. Probably going to be a lot less than that most of the way. Now my reason for wanting to do this is because my brother and his family are in town. And that's what they've got it in their head they want to do. They want to go to downtown Gatlinburg. And I warned them against doing this. But they did not listen and decided they were going to go to downtown Gatlinburg anyway. But you guys can see, this is not a good idea. Okay, I'm showing you why this is not a good idea. So, those places that I just passed are easy enough to get to. The Titanic, the Wonderworks, Beyond the Lens even the Hatfield and McCoy, all that stuff is easy to get to. They could have done that, but they were determined to go to get downtown Gatlinburg. With the current situation as it is right now, you do not want to be in thick crowds. Okay, when you're butts to nuts, shoulders to shoulders, with a bunch of strangers, that is a recipe for a lot of spread of the virus. If you want to come to downtown Gatlinburg, it's a wonderful place. It is a lot to do, a lot to see, a lot of things to sample and try and look at and walk through. Lots of lovely, lovely things. But please, don't do it on a holiday weekend. Don't do it on a peak weekend. It's not smart. Try to stagger your time out here with times when there's not going to be a lot of other people out here. Spread things out a little bit. Okay? That's all I'm trying to say. That uh, Hollywood there, with uh, King Kong climbing it. Hollywood, the wax museum right there. Could have gone to that. Traffic going up to that's not too bad. Those are the Smoky Mountains in the distance. A little bit of a snow frost on them. And that is that smoke, or the low hanging clouds that just touched the top of the mountain. That's how they got their name. Smoky, Smoky Mountains. That is the core of the Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge tourist draw right there. Come to the Smoky Mountains. And then upspring all this touristy stuff around it. All this Flash and glitz and glam and crowds. So if you do come out here for the flash, for the rides, the glitz and glam, at least take, if not a full day, at least a half day to drive on up to Smoky Mountains National Park. Walk a trail out to a waterfall. Actually enjoy the Smokies. At least a little bit while you're here. Well, <laughs> uh, I actually got within about two or three miles of downtown Gatlinburg when I got a call from my brother. They actually made it to downtown Gatlinburg, drove very slowly up the parkway for a little bit, and realized that there's no place to park, that the crowds are too thick. They kept driving by parking decks that were full, parking decks that were full, and eventually gave up. So they are going to go back to Pigeon Forge, I think it is, and go to the island instead. The island is nice and wide open. It's easier to get to. A lot 
lot of parking, a lot of overflow parking. So they came around, listened to reason. Now we're going to go have a nice, a nice day at the island instead. You see what that sign says right there, guys? Free parking. That's right, free. Yet another reason why I love the island and prefer it over downtown Gatlinburg a lot. <sighs> well, it's 3.40, and here we are, the island. It took long enough. <laughs> We've only got, what, two hours before it gets dark? But there are lights. It's still fun to be here even after it gets dark. Hoping I'll meet up with the group soon. Even if I don't find them, I'm going to have a great time. Well, it's 4.40, and they finally got here. I told you. Hey, Lewis. How you doing, Lynn? You hanging in there? Yeah. We're in the islands because Gatlinburg was death row. It was a madhouse over there. Yeah. I mean, like this, man. People were falling off the curb. They couldn't into even the get traffic. past each other. They were falling off the curb into the traffic. That's how packed it was. People were like this. <laughs> shoulder to shoulder, bust to nuts, exactly. just like I said. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. I tried to tell them. This is, this is a store that just says beef jerky. And apparently, they also sell alligator jerky. Let me see if I can find those. Oh, there it is. It's in here. Gator. It is. This is gator jerky. Oh wait, here's the millworms. That's that's just too easy. Too common, too easy. Not doing the millworms. Ants and a sucker. Come on. Come on, that's amateur. Amateur. Okay, we got here we go. There's the scorpions. Scorpions. All right, there's the group. They all decided to pile on into the ice cream store, ice cream place. Now that, that is a Pigeon Forge thing right there. You have the option of having your dessert in a mason jar that's got chocolate around the rim. Mason jars. Chocolate and peanuts or chocolate and sprinkles. And a mason jar. Like they even have bulba tea here. It's also in a mason jar. It's a little bit of east meets west right there. I like. I'm gonna get rainbow sherbet and a waffle cone. Yes, thank you. Now they do have birthday cake, and I know that's kind of a tradition here on the channel to do birthday cake, but uh, we've done that a bunch of times already. Let's let's do a little something different this time. Look at that, your tongue's turning blue. Rainbow Sherbert. Thank you, thank you. Oh, see, now that's nostalgic for me right there. And as long as I got this in my hand, I don't have to have the mask on. How else would I eat my Sherbert? Mm. Like, it's like a creamy frozen pixie stick. I love it. I love it. Pistachio. Mint chocolate chip? Pistachio. Pistachio. Oh, and you got... See, they look the same, don't they? they? Do. Okay, that's pistachio. And then mint chocolate chip. And then Superman over there. His, his tongue's turning blue. 
Let's see, Superman, he does. He, he's got the yellow and the red and the blue. And the blue yeah. Those are all Superman colors. Very much. But you know, it's really just all vanilla with different food colorings in it, right? Uh -huh. Does it taste any different? <laughs> you think, does it taste any different than regular vanilla? What do you think? If we blindfolded you and gave you a cone of vanilla and a cone of Superman, would you be able to tell the difference? You think you would? Huh. I don't believe you. Well, there's chunks of ice in this one. Is that a good thing? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll hand it to you. <laughs> Most vanilla cones do not have chunks of ice in them. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get her, Lynn? Camel Frappuccino. Frappuccino? A four hour drive, right? <laughs> we got another Superman over here. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, we got a bubble tea. That's not the one in the mason jar, though. What flavor is that? See, it's either watermelon or strawberry or maybe cherry. What kind of what kind of pearls did you get in there? It's red pearls. It's not the it's not the regular tapioca pearls. It's not the brown ones. No. Hmm. You know, they're putting the kids in the prison? A little police box? Why y'all all getting in there? It's like so willingly. That's weird. That's where they belong. That, that old fashioned padlock there. You need to scream. Let us out! 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 <laughs> It's just a little Instagram moment kind of thing here. <laughs> Open now. Oh, it's an advertisement for a uh, escape. No, it's a crime museum. Huh. No, I do kind of want to go to that museum. Okay, come on, guys. Oh. I'm gonna buy one of these shirts at some point. They don't have them in 2X right now. Just triple X. And then large and medium sweat. Look at this. Hey, Snowflake. In the real world, you don't get a participation trophy. No, not everyone is a winner. You are. In, there are no safe spaces. Screaming doesn't make you right. No one owes you anything. Crying doesn't solve problems. Is Nothing is free in this world. Is People are going to say things you don't, that you don't like. And you are not special. It's about 8.30 now. We've made it back to the, the, the parents' house and they had some chili ready for us. Mom, you made this, right? Yep. It is some really good chili. Chili, chili Frito pies with the Chili Frito chips. pies. And the kids, they have been really kind of picky and hesitant to put it in the bowl. But now that you've had a few bites, what do you say? Oh, no, I, I got, got one thing. Oh, yeah. it's, it's Lewis. Yeah. The one that Lewis is the only one. That I think he's <laughs> hiding from the camera here. He <laughs> you know, doesn't want to own up to, uh, to snubbing mom's, mom's chili. 
But it's it's really good. I think Dad, you helped with the chili too, didn't you? He's watching something. It's really good. Anyway, guys, if you've liked this uh, vlog today, make sure to indicate so by hitting that thumbs up like button. There he is. Wow. <laughs> uh, I will talk to you down in the comments. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And look forward to seeing you in the next one. Yes, Adios. Bye.